Welcome back to Aurovia. I'm Pravinia. So today we are going to know about A to Z about FMG. Today we have Dr. Angit Rai. He is the alumni of Davao Medical Schools of Foundation, Davao City, Philippines. Hi, bro. How are you? All good, bro. How are you? How's everything? I'm doing good, bro. How is your doctor life going on? Doctor life is chill, yeah. It's nice. It's awesome. Having fun. Okay, bro. Let's go into the video, bro. So first, yeah. we have to know what is meant by FMG. For a beginner student who is entering the medicine, they will not know about more thing about FMG. Can you tell us crispy way and short way, simply that what is my FMG? See, you know, so yeah, thank you to have, uh, having me in your channel and all. The way, like those people who have gone, you know, abroad uh, to study for MBBS, when you come back to India, even if you if you have a valid degree and all, so that you will have a valid degree and you can, uh, you know, you can do prescriptions and all and you can work in India. You have to give an exam. That is the FMG exam, Foreign Medical Graduate Examination. Okay. So uh, the Foreign Medical Graduate Examination is done twice a year. The best thing about FMG is that you don't have any, uh, you know, uh, negative markings. So you can, even though if you don't have an answer or you're you know, not sure about an answer, there will be no negative markings. And then you, you can keep, uh, you know, you can do a, a guesswork and let God do his work. So may I know about uh, uh, why foreigners they are getting very low pass percentage uh, i was going to talk about this this very good question you asked in, a, again in my uh, youtube channel as well but i'll give a brief about this list see what i have uh, noticed one thing is like that people tend to summarize that whole thing you know they want to get that all 19 subjects and you know 19 subjects how much it, it took you four and a half or sometimes six years to complete that subject in your college and then you want to get that six years thing done in six months without any revision problem. like what people do is Either there are, like, see, there are three type of people, one who is just studying the whole uh, MBBS time, other one who is just studying for the college, and other one who is just enjoying barely passing or giving supplies, and, and then later on he's trying to crack the FMG. So this third person usually is the one who gets stuck. Either if he has got luck, he can crack it, or he's the one who gets stuck again and again, and he's expecting that there should be a hack or something in which he'll pass. And uh, to be honest, right now, FMG exam is made in such a way that it's a failing exam. It's not like an exam in which they're testing your... You know, skills. It's actually an exam which is meant to, uh, nowadays they are trying to fail you. There is one very good reason. Now look, if you'll ask, uh, it's just like a, it's just one theory, uh, which I have heard and then I'll just discuss about that. It's like, see, now if you, if, uh, if a person now, if, if you're a general category person, you know, now even after 550, you will not be able to get a college over here. You'll get a private college. And now, you know, private colleges in India is like around one CR, 70, 80, 90 lakh or much more than that also, to be honest. And then on the other hand, when you go foreign, it's like you no, know, it's like half or less than half also. In 25 lakh, 20 or 30 lakh, you'll be able to get your whole MBBS. Now, mm -hmm. once you're done, uh, you're getting your MBBS done in foreign, and then you're just coming and giving one exam FMG, and then you're equivalent and sometimes much more superior than that of the uh, person who is doing here in India. So that is why the government also has an issue. Yeah, now obviously you you notice one thing that all the private medical colleges are by by some MLAs or some governors. Now, if if the Indian community has an idea that okay, you can get your MBBS done in much cheaper and in much better and more like you know the the student gets more independent, the student gets more like a, a exposure to life. The person is now more of an adult. Responsibilities increase, and along with that, an MBBS degree outside and come back in literally half. So obviously, people will prefer to go outside. So what they will do is they'll make the exam very tough. Now, one thing is there that whenever you do the recall series uh, in any platform. You'll see in YouTube all the comments that the students are saying this question was not there or this question was not framed like this because many people don't know how the question was framed. It was quite tough or something like that. So they are making this exam a tough exam. So okay. when uh, you know the when a person who doesn't study much or a person who just like you know he's, he has zero experience about MBBS and directly starts the six months preparation for FMG who just wants to pass. Now if you're having the thought of only passing just getting 150 marks definitely you can't pass here because. There is a rule, um, you know, of expectation also, you know, you know, if you expect less, you will get lesser than that. Like my dad also had this 5% rule. He told me, he under, whatever you're scoring, 5% you'll get less than that. Like, for example, if I'm scoring 100, I will get 95. So using that logically, if you will get, uh, if you're aiming for 150, you will get 145 and then basically you will not be able to pass. So that is why you have to start aiming high. Whoever is watching this video. That whenever you stress and study, it is, the productivity of that is very less. But when you enjoy or when you're understanding or when you're having fun while studying, you will tend to retain that longer. I am telling you ki, ha, one of the reasons why the FMG percentage is low that people start late. Now, if someone who is there who is just starting right now and he has just a couple of months, he can also do it. As a conclusion of your speech, I can understand uh, being a medical student, you should, we should 
prepare daily not uh, at last at the six months or seven months before the exam we should uh, prepare daily at least for one hour it will be useful during our exam time okay bro then i want to ask you what will be the if uh, when it comes to fmg exam what will be the eligibility criteria do we have any eligibility criteria for uh, doing fmg so exam? basically uh, what you require with respect to the uh, like you know for the registration is that one thing you have to just see honestly it is different and there is a big list i'll just give you a couple of things which i remember ek to uh, they require 52 months your country of whatever you are doing your mbbs it should be above 52 months and then you're good to go then uh, in my time uh, they were checking eligibility certificate you know the eligibility certificate there. but after that i guess i don't know in which 2020 2021 students who took it after that they just have to show their uh, like uh, what do you see that um, that they need ug passed if they need ug qualified so either two of them uh, along with that you need to have your uh, all your documents should be present because they will be uh, asking you to upload everything and all so that will be done two months prior uh so these are the main things which is one to eligibility will be there uh, either eligibility certificate you will have or either the need ug pass uh, certificate your medical degree uh and in like you know your um, chat there's a chat service right the commission of higher secondary mm. like in philippines that was there i'm not sure in other countries what is there so these are the four documents and apostille which is very important for the eligibility. okay okay bro then when it comes to fmg what is the type of exam whether we will be marking mcqs or theory exam mm. or... so fmg is basically uh, an mcq examination uh, so in this mcqs there are like 150 questions 150 questions in two parts but now there is a new rule in which each part is further divided into 50 50 questions and uh, like uh, with 50 minutes it's actually a quite a good rule because what do people do is that they stress upon uh, like you know what they did previously or something like that with this rule you will be focused only on 50 questions you will just cross cross check all the 50 questions and then move on so it's quite a good rule to be is honest. this a uh, paper full exam or paperless exam it is an online examination so then you have to go on a center and then uh, give it digitally earlier i guess in 2011 or 12 it was given paper full but not any um, okay okay sorry then when it comes to pass percentage what will be the pass percentage for this exam bro uh see yeah past percentage not to be honest is very uh, uh, what do you say is it's a topic which you should not see only because it uh, terrifies people more than uh, supporting or giving it the reason like see at an average you see the passing rate of fmg is 10% during my exam it was 9% or 8 point something like that the reason why it is there because examination is tough now examination is tough for a majority of students that's why it is considered but people should not consider it that way ki ah you will not be able to do it because even like for example um, in my uh, examination i guess 26 to 27000 students gave only 2000 were able to pass but it's not like that exam was impossible because 2000 students also passed right important in fmg exam is uh, mental health because uh, many people i have seen with who you should study with me who you should study much more than me 8 hours 10 hours 12 hours they were not able to pass the exam because during my june exam no, there were so many big long paragraphical questions especially in paper 1 my paper one was like psm was like you know bouncer of shoy bakhtar you you can't play only that ball so even your guessing is very bad because you don't know what is there and uh, biochemistry questions were so big that they integrated everything they added medicine physiology biochemistry so th- it was very long mm. and many people panicked and they were not able to solve that question and the second question they were not the next question when they doing na the the trauma of the first question they were not able to do the second question nice which they which they know so nicely because they were not uh, used to the breakdown they were not used to the stress so it is very important that you take care of your mental health from now on if someone is watching this who just have a couple of months make sure that you are doing 5 years of fmg 5 years of neat pg 5 years of ini you have to do grand test like uh, if you have two months 15 days may one grand test you do and make sure that image based question you are not ignoring okay do not skip any subject because you never know in what subject like example people are not doing a, a anesthesia just because it is like a too much rata and all and uh, they yeah. like three four questions sometimes you know last time 10 questions came for anesthesia so you and uh, you also know one question is also one mark is also very important for fmg so you don't skip anything focus on these three things which i said and yeah mental health is very important okay bro then we are going into the weightage of this exam what will be the weightage and topic coverage for this fmg exam so may i know about this in a Short term. See, nineteen uh, subjects are there. Out of which uh, four are very major: PSM, OB/GYN, medicine, and surgery. These are the ones which carry uh, maximum marks. Usually, they say thirty, 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 thirty. But uh, based on the you know the examiner, it can change. In my time, uh, medicine had fifty questions, surgery had fifty questions, uh, OB/GYN had less. 
PSM had 35 something like that. So it's different, different. But these are the four majors. Along with that, the first year subjects, they are given 15 marks, 17 marks. Uh, mm-hmm. Minor subjects are like Dharma, Anesthesia, Ortho. Uh, these are the minor subjects. So they are like around 5 to 10 uh, questions. But like it is divided. Minor subjects have around 5 to 7 marks. Uh, the mid- moderate like ANT, Ophthal, uh, Anat, Physio, Biochem. These are having 15 to 17 marks. And the big guns are like, you know, ob Surgery, uh, PSM and uh, Medicine. Okay, bro. Well, when it comes to the timing, duration of the exam, because you told that we have so many para for only for one question, we have to read and like clinical cases, we have to read. So what will be the duration, timing and how did you manage in the situation during see, the exam? Now, when the question is very long, no, the first step, what you have to do is always see the last thing, what they're asking. Two things you have to see. First, see the last thing, what they're asking, like what is the cause or something. So then you know, okay, now when you read the whole question again, you know what they're asking. Second thing is always before, and I've uh, told this again uh, previously, before uh, uh, solving any question, close your eyes, pray to God that I will not do this mistake. I will not ignore all of the above, none of the above or accept. Because so many times, you know, when you see a very easy question and the answer of easy, you know, you don't, you forget to see none of the all of the above and uh, accept this. Even I used to do earlier. But then I did not do this mistake, uh, like, you know, mistakes in the real exam. And if you do this mistake, you know that one answer which you know, one uh, like uh, you were not able to score. So these are the two things. Always uh, start by seeing the last in a big paragraph portion. Just see the last thing and make sure that you are not ignoring except none of the above or all of the above. Being a doctor now and you cracked FMG and you are uh, rank 7 in FMG, if I am not wrong. Rank so, I don't know, so I felt good, really not bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry. So, anyway, you are a top ranker. So, may I know any, so, so we get any tip from you? What is your preparation and your personal experience from your FMG exam? And what is your advice to your juniors, medical students? Yeah, see, this life now is good. If you think it as a rat race, enough, you will not go anywhere. You will be stressed for life. You will be in struggle. You will not be happy only in life. Make sure you're enjoying. Okay? You're this life. You're between now 18 to 25. You know that this time will not come back. You're this childhood, uh, childhood uh, and your child inside you. They will be all stressed out if you just focus on studies every time. It's not like that. See, this is what I'm saying is for someone who just wants to be happy in life. So for that, make sure your mental health is stable. Have a very good, uh, you know, surrounding. Don't have negative. The, see, the first step in preparation is make sure your environment is clean and not like physically clean. Clean by like you should not have negative people who will be pe- poking on your head or something like that. Remove those people first. Okay, and don't feel shy, shy also. If you notice one person who you're who stud- when you're studying and that person is getting bothered that why you're not spending time, this person is toxic for you. Let him out. Okay, first thing. Second thing is even though if you feel that you have wasted too much time, forget about it. Look, past is a history, future is a mystery, and present is right now. So that's why it is called present, a gift. Enjoy this moment. Make sure you are spending this time very nicely. If you are uh, starting early, choose whatever app you want. Okay. If you ask me, I was using uh, multiple apps over there. Marrow was the major one which I was using, but other multiple apps which ever I felt I also used as well. Okay. Uh, with respect to uh, giving questions, FMG Solution is a very good book. But what I uh, what I'm saying is before practicing any um, question bank also always first finish the previous year questions only after finishing the previous year questions then only start doing extra questions because I'm telling you the previous year questions only are so much that it will take you at least a couple of months to finish that only. Okay. Anna, give grand test. Don't fear about grand test and give okay. your uh, mental health break. Give like see whenever you feel like you can't do or close the book because you'll do you'll try studying you will be more stressed. And then you will not be a video on my uh, Instagram account, Jeff Studies Met Fun, where you can integrate and study subjects. So you do like that. So example now, next if next year my system is uh, surgery, you do surgery with uh, anatomy. If you okay. you can do, if you have next is medicine, you can do medicine with physiology, pharmacology, biochemistry. Okay. There are, you have to integrate and study. So hope so everyone who's watching this video will also get some idea about this. So thank you for this wonderful uh, interview, bro, because. I know that uh, you know, uh, morning from morning to evening night you will be uh, doing you are going to hospitals and you started your doctor's uh, work. I know you are very very busy. In this your hectic schedule, thank a lot for uh, helping us making a video for your juniors. Thank
Thanks a lot. I don't know, bro. You guys are like my brothers and sisters only. Yeah. I see. I have one thing. Like, uh, my brother taught me this thing. Is he the only way you will feel happy in life? You know, is like, and you uh, how you can help others also is by you know just whatever help you need. I'll always be there for you guys, and it makes me feel calm. I feel happy that I'm able to help you guys. If you have any other queries or something, I have an account. Like my personal account is also there, Angad Rai. And uh, if you want medical things yeah. or uh, any, any query or like either it is mental health, even if you don't have anyone to talk to, even if you don't know me and you want just to share and forget about it, talk to me, call me, yeah. whatever you want to do. It's I'm always there for you guys. And just text me on Just Studies Made Fun, and rest will be history. And also, I want to mention, Doc also having his own uh, Instagram page. Uh, I started one thing uh, that is called Just Studies Made Fun. Which means okay. like you can enjoy and have fun at the same time. So okay. in the that page, basically I answer whatever like I get comment uh, many queries and like you know so like how to do this, how to do this, how to solve this. So I try to answer that. My plan is that uh, in a couple of months I'm going to start something with related to full subjects and all where everyone can get uh, everyone can get explained with tough subjects as well as uh, educate about mental health and uh, whatever queries you need. I'm always there. The name of the Instagram page is like uh, Job Studies Made Fun. So thank you so much. So once again, thank you for this video. So hope so all enjoy this video. Thank you, bro. Sure. Bye bye. Take care, yeah.